Hello everybody, in this video I will be painting a Beast of Chaos Gore. Um, I start off with a base coat of Chaos Black or Rebel Can as usual. You can use any other uh, base coat if you want to or if you prefer to. Next I painted the entire model with Earth. Um, I did it by airbrush but you can use a, a normal paintbrush for this if you, uh, if you prefer that. This is then followed by blocking in all the wooden parts on a model using Beastie Brow. Next using Kaki, I am blocking all the bone parts on the model. And stuff like the hooves, the nails, uh, the little bone parts, the horns. And then using metallic black, I painted all the metal parts. Next using Agrox Earthshade, I basically washed the entire model. Uh, all the parts we just painted, uh, I made sure they are washed if uh, unpainted parts. Uh, are not washed, it's not a big deal. We'll concentrate on stuff like the fur later. I then made a mixture of um, two parts earth and two parts elf skin tone, and I applied this as a highlight to all the skin. Basically, I avoided painting in the deepest recesses and just went over um, nearly the entire skin. Next, by adding one part pale flesh, I started to reinforce this highlight. And I made sure I built this up towards the, the angle of light you prefer. Um, basically, I use it from top down. So I paint towards the top of the model and that the light flows from dark in the bottom to light on top. Next, by adding one more part pale flesh, uh, I repeat this process by reinforcing it a bit more towards the top. Next, using gunmetal, I lightly dry brush the metallic part and I stipple a bit on the blades to make them look a bit worn and uh, older and better used. Next, using BC Brown um, with a little bit more paint in the brush and for a regular dry brush I go over the wooden grains to uh, apply a, a, um, a soft highlight to all the wooden parts. Next by making a mixture of one part beast brown and one part khaki I reinforce these by just uh, drawing in these lines. Next, using khaki, I start and highlight the bone uh, parts of the model. And on the hooves, I do this in thin lines, and for the rest, it's just paint them in, making sure the recesses keep uh, visible in a darker tone. And for the horns, it's drawing the lines on the higher parts of the horns. This is then followed by a highlight of pure bone white, just reinforcing the previous highlight. Making a mixture of one part dark flesh tone and one part gory red, I then block in 
the red parts on the models I wanted this um, piece of cloth and on the front the little shield uh, to be red and using old copper I painted in the, the skull on the on the red shield thingy Both these parts are then washed using Agrox Earthshade. I went back and made the same mixture of one part dark flesh stone and one part gory red, and I highlighted the red parts up. As for the cloth, I just painted the, the larger areas, staying away from the deepest recesses and leaving the darker color in there visible. As for the shield, it's, I just painted the outer edge of it in a basically a thick edge highlight. I then added one part bloody red to this mixture and I started building up the, the red color, leaving uh, parts of the previous layer visible. So that we generate um, or create a slight transition in color. Next, by adding one part beige to this mixture, I finish it off with an edge highlight. On the most upper part of the cloth, I paint a little bit bigger area because a little bit more light would reflect from that area. Next I made a mixture of three parts dark brown and one part gold grey and I blocked in all the fur on the model. Um, this was quite a lot of work but um, it had to be painted anyway. Uh, by doing it the other way around I would have needed to paint in all the skin separately so I think this was the fastest way. Um, this was then followed by a wash of non-oil. Next I made a mixture of two parts charred brown and one part cold grey and I applied the highlights to, to the hairs and the fur. I just decided to paint them, uh, well not completely one by one, but I decided to paint them with a small brush and I just um, hit every one of them <coughs> in the most visible um, parts of the, of the hairs and not painting them entirely but just little bits of them. Next, by adding one part stone wall grey to this mixture, I went back in and then I painted the most visible and highest hairs, um, just a little bit over the previous layer. Next, using dwarven gold, I went and applied a highlight to the to the golden part. Again, staying away from the deepest recesses, and this is then followed by a highlight with pure silver. And this silver highlight is applied only on the highest and most raised um, areas of the skull. Next, using Seraphim Sepia, I wash the golden parts. Um, this color helps to tie the silver back to a more gold like color. Then I started painting the belts and um, the wrapping around the um, uh, weapon handle. And I started off with applying a rough highlight using Earth.
Next I made a mixture of two parts earth and one part khaki. And I reinforced this previous highlight. Again I do this by going more towards the light and more towards the outside of the part I'm painting. Next I added one part khaki to this mixture and I reinforced all the previous highlights, leaving little bits of the previous layer visible. And again I do this by painting towards the light so that the light's on top of the model, on top of every area on the model. Then using pure khaki I paint in all the little ropes and the um, the, the rope around the neck for the necklace. And this is then followed by a wash of aqua skirt shade. Once the aqua skirt shade is dry, I apply a final highlight to these parts using khaki. After this layer, I finished up the model by painting the eyes and uh, finishing up the basing. And this is the end result. So I hope you liked this video. Um, please like, share and subscribe if you want to. Um, dislike if you want to as well. But please let me know uh, what it is about the video that you did not like. So again, thanks for watching. And see you next time. Bye bye.